Good evening guys and how's it going? I'm back with my second video on Blythe Spartans playing Football Manager 2015. Last season wasn't so successful, finishing 12th, it was very disappointing after looking to get in the playoffs at least. But I kept my job, I got a new contract and we're here 9 days before the season opener at home to Hales on. So in this video I'm going to bring you my pre-season games, my tactics, formation, signings, sales, my squad and just going to tell you what I'm hoping to do in this season. So first of all I'm going to go to my pre-season games and I didn't play many, usually I play a lot more than this but I spent many hours trying to bring players in and of course getting players out. So I started off with a home game against Barnsley, the full squad, lost 3-0 far superior to me so I expected that. At this point in defeat, at home to Darlington, I'm sure my friend Paul will enjoy seeing that result. And a 1-1 draw away to Bishop Auckland. Before a respectable result at home to Aston Villa in the 21s where Andreas Weiman scored the winner. As you can see, Hales won the opener, 9 days time at Croft Park, We're looking forward to getting to that. Now I've scrolled in my fixtures and there's a new team in the league, Salford. Of course we now associate them with the class of 92 from Manchester United. Yeah. If you want to download the Football Manager WizKids transfer database, you can do. You'll find it on the Facebook and Twitter pages. And the reason I say that is because I have edited it and I have put Nicky Buck, Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Paul Scholes there as well as the new owner, Peter Lim. Of course Ryan Giggs would be there but he isn't because he's at Manchester United as the assistant manager. We do have a bit of cash as well, so if you want to download the Level 8 English database from FM Central, you can play as them. It would be great fun and a good story if you want to put it on YouTube or you want to write about it. Okay, so getting back to my save, we're going to go to my tactics. I've made a slight change. Two player roles have changed. I'm going to be using the sweeper keeper for the first time in the Football Manager 2015. The reason for that being that I can see too many goals, so it's sort of to cover the defence really. And play as a sweeper keeper as it says, and kind of like the Manuel Neuer of the Evil Stick Northern Premier. So we'll see how that goes. I might end up reverting back depending on how it works. And I'm also using the Shadow Striker for the first time after to accommodate a new signing. So I went from a 4 1 3 2 to a 4 3 1 2. A little bit more attacking, so hopefully I can outscore teams. Goal scoring wasn't a problem last season, it was conceding goals and silly losses. I'm only going to show you one player instruction and that's the goalkeeper. A lot of people complain how your goalkeeper kicks it out long and you get countered and concede goals. Usually a lot of people play the match engine, but I don't believe it's anything to do with that. So the first thing I do is my goalkeeper just pass it short, I have fewer risky passes. And that means you won't see them kicking out very often. Also guys, if you don't watch the game, you don't get to see how your team play. If you watch it in key moments, you only really go and see the goals. I play mine in extended. I think that's long enough to judge a team, see how you play. But also means you don't have to watch the full game. Because, of course, people don't have time to do that. I also have distribute to full back, so he's playing it short as well, as I have that instruction there. But he's not rolling out to the centre of the park, so the full backs can take control of the match and the ball from there. I'm going to go to my transfers, show you my signings and sales, and I'll start off with the people going out. Now, seven of these were never involved in the first team last season, they were never going to get kept, so they've all left. They were all in non contract terms, so I didn't really lose anything. And they were only getting paid if they played, which was probably about 15 appearances between a lot of them. The big disappointment is Michael Richardson got a loot in town on a free transfer. He was refusing to sign a contract all season. So in the last month of his contract, I offered him out for free with 50% sell on and clubs fell for it. A lot of clubs came for him and I've got that. So if he makes it, makes the grade, gets another transfer, I'll get a good lump of money. If he doesn't, hopefully I can bring him back because he's only on a one year contract at Luton. Got pretty decent stats all round. He was fantastic for me last season. Arguably the best centre midfielder in the league. Got a lot of assists and he's an engine. He played as a box to box midfielder. So at this point to lose him, but I've brought in a great replacement in my opinion. 
So bring it. Go to the sales the people I've brought in now. First is Jack Ellen in the last video you see he was on the shortlist to sign. Haven't judged him on his stats. I've signed him purely on his ratings from last season and he played quite well. That's the reason why I went for him. Three and a half star current, four star potential. He's gonna be in the first team, so we'll see how we go man. Second sign is James Montgomery from Harvard Railway. He was going to be my first choice goalkeeper, ex Middlesbrough youngster, who has sadly got an injury for two months now. So my first choice from last season, he will continue to play. Third sign is Matthew Tomilty from Team Northumbria. He's decent stat wise, mentally he's pretty good, he's got good crossing. Again, I've really judged him on last season's ratings and that's the reason why he's joined. He's going to take over from the reliable Alex Nicholson at right back, who will make Wayne go out of the bench. 3 star current ability, 4 star potential. I'd like his physical stats to be a bit better, but he could do okay in this league. Fourth signing from West Auckland, this is Michael Richardson's natural replacement. Look at those stats guys, for this level, they are brilliant. Dribbling, finishing, long shots, passing, teamwork, determination, composure, aggression, physical stats are decent. For this level, he looks probably the best centre midfielder in the league stat wise I'd say. So I'm hoping you can give me what Michael Richardson did and a little bit more. Four and a half star, current and potential. Of course, age 26, he's coming up to his peak. Brought him in for free and his value is nearly 15k, so that's pretty decent. I could get a little bit back from him. Got him on a decent contract too, till 2017, that's two years, which means he's not going to walk away, or if he refuses to sign a contract, I'm going to have him for at least one more season. So I'm looking forward to using him. Next one is Ross Cocoon, former Sunderland youngster. Now a little tip for you guys, I didn't know his stats and my scouts aren't very good, they only record about 6% at a time. So if you want to bring somebody in who's a free agent and you're not sure about offering them a contract straight away, bring him on trial, it reveals all their stats and that's what you'll get. This guy has got decent physical stats, decent marking, positioning, tackling, decision making. He's going to be on my bench to start with. Looks an okay youngster, age 18, can improve. The next thing is Paul Wilston, 16 year old goalkeeper from Newcastle. I'm surprised he joined just because of where he was at. But he got released. His stats aren't the best. 2.5 star current, 4 star potential. Now going to be number 2 in the short term until James Montgomery comes back to challenge for number 1 spot. Alex Bilton, my next sign in from Darlington. He's been a free agent on the game for probably 2 or 3 years now since he left Blackburn. He's got decent determination and his physical stats are very good. Bought him in for free of course, I only spent 3k in the whole transfer window. That's pretty much all I had to spend. But I reckon he could do quite well. 3.5 star current, 4.5 star potential, so we'll see how he gets on. I'm looking forward to using him. I reckon he could be good. My only sign in, as I say, for 3k is Dennis Knight from Meeting Aycliffe. Stats aren't the greatest, but having used him at lower league before, I know he's quite good. He's quite technically gifted. In real life, should I say, not on the stats as you can see. I'm going to use him in the new role that I'm using and his favourite role, which made me change my formation a little bit from a defensive midfielder to an attacking midfielder, is the shadow striker. Former Newcastle and Barnsley player. Now, the final sign from Tadcaster is Terry Jefferson. Now, before I show you him, I must say, I seen the region face, I thought he was 16, 17 years old. And I looked at his stats and thought, yeah, I'll have some of that because my director of football actually tried to sign him and I offered the contract. Once I'd signed him, I realised he's age 24. 24 year old regen in the second season on the game. Now, that was a small mistake on my behalf, but the stats I'm pretty happy with. Heading, determination, work rate, aggression, bravery, and good physical stats. 3.5 star potential, 4 star ability. So I'm quite happy with him. If he was 16, that would have been fantastic stats, but. He's 24 and he's got 3-4 years to improve to get to his best. Can't play left back as well. He's going to be first choice this season. So I'm quite happy. So that's my transfers. Quite a lot going in, quite a lot going out as well. So taking up the competitions, I'll tell you about my board expectations. As you can see, 
I put that myself, challenge for the title because I was disappointed not to get playoffs last season. Finishing a poor 12. That's what I'm hoping for, guys. My team, I believe, is good enough for this league. I think I can do it, so I'm gonna go for it. Go all out for it. Yeah, if you they want me to reach the third round with the qualifying. Hopefully, we can do that. They see the Peter Sewell Shield is not important, but I disagree. In real life and on the game, every trophy is worth winning, in my opinion. It goes on your CV, it looks good. So, yeah, that's about it on this save, guys. I'm nine days away from the season and opener against Hailzone. Hopefully, we can get off to a good start in the opening four or five games. And we'll really take it from there. I will bring you a mid season review around 23 24 games, let you know how I'm getting on. So yeah, that's about it for my save. So in case you don't know where I am, I'm James and I call on the Football Magic Whiskers page, which I'm going to take you now, which is here on Facebook. We've been running for three years now. We're very popular, as you can see, approaching 15,000 likes. It's run by myself, Martin, Andy and Edvard. So we have good time on there, a lot of interaction, a lot of posts. And it's all go, really. And we are now on Twitter, haven't been on there for two months now with 550 plus followers. We're not on there as much but we hope to be on there a lot more in the new year. So if you haven't checked us out there guys, give us a like and a follow and see what we get up to. If you need any help, ask that way. And finally, just before I go, check out footballmanagercentral.com and the FM Central group on Facebook. That's run by my good friend Paul and Ryan. We do great work over there. The site's actually had a lick of paint recently. It looks slick and smooth and has everything you need. All your graphics, it's got stories, it's got real life football. And there's a lot going on here. As you can see, there's a lot of content in there. And it's been updated almost every single day by the guys over there. So as you can see, the Football Angel Wizkids transfer database. Last updated on the 24th, which was Christmas Eve, of course. That's updated as in publicly. I upload it every single day and it's had over 300,000 downloads in the last three years and continues to grow and grow every year. And people really enjoy it because I put a lot of hard work into it. So, if you haven't downloaded it, check it out, give me some feedback. If you think of something needs improved, changed, removed, let me know. I'll give you my opinion and see what I can do. Also, check them out on Twitter, guys. They're very reliable, they've been going a very short time compared to other websites. But as you can see, they've been appreciated not only by the fans, but here. A shiny new blue Sports Interactive approved fan site. It takes a lot of hard work to get that, and they've got one very early on in their creation. So it shows that they appreciate the work they do as well. When you see that on a website, you know it's a great website. So in my opinion, it's the best around. Get over there, check out what they do. If you've got any queries, send Paul and I a message. They'll always get back to you. Monday nights they do the football show, which I am a host of. Last one hour from 10 to 11. I link it on WizKids Facebook page every Monday. So check that out. Every Thursday they do a 45 minute football manager podcast with different guests every week. You have Paul Ryan and Ben on there. That's great as well, guys. There's not many football manager podcasts around these days after the official football manager and Miles Jacobson cancelled theirs because I don't think it was getting enough business or they didn't have enough time to do it every week. So check that out guys, I listen every week, it's great. Okay guys, that's me done my second video. I hope you give me some constructive feedback because I'm still quite new to this. I'm enjoying doing it, I'm enjoying bringing it to you. I got 150-ish views on my last video so around the same again I'd be happy. Thanks guys, take care, see you soon.